I mean, honestly, you really believe that there's concentration camps at the border? Yeah. Then why are so many people trying to come over? Um, well, they're trying to get freedom. They'll do... But all they're going to be met with is a concentration camp, in your words. Doesn't make sense, does it? I mean, I don't know much, but... Yeah. Yeah. We're here in St. Louis, Missouri. And I don't know why we chose the city to come to to ask this question, but we are asking people if they agree with Ocasio-Cortez when she says that detention centers on the U.S.-Mexico border are the same as concentration camps used during World War II. Let's see if people think that's pretty ridiculous. Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez recently said that the detention centers used at the U.S.-Mexico border are comparable to the concentration camps used during World War II. Do you agree with that? I do, yes. Do you agree with that notion? I personally do, yes. Do you agree with that notion? Uh, I didn't know about it, but it's not good. Do you, think, do you think that that's what we're doing at the border, putting them in concentration camps? I hope not. Do you agree with Ocasio-Cortez? Yeah. So you, I mean, honestly, you really believe that there's concentration camps at the border? Yeah. Then why are so many people trying to come over? Um, well, they're trying to get freedom. They'll do... But all they're going to be met with is a concentration camp, in your words, doesn't make sense, does it? I mean, I don't know much, but... Yeah. Yeah. So she has recently said that the detention centers at the U.S.-Mexico border are comparable and basically the same as concentration camps used in World War II. Yeah. Do you agree with that? I, I mean, I personally do. I think when we look back on history, we always like to think that we're on the right side of history with things and then history repeats itself and everyone's really against it. So, I mean, I think it's going to take some time for people to kind of see it for what it is. You know, when you look at the pictures of concentration camps and what they looked like, they were just a little bit worse. You know, um, but I guess in this day and age, I mean, there's a, it's good to draw correlations, but that's a little over the top for me. Okay, so you say they're just a little bit worse. How do you find them similar? Well, um, taking any demographic and sticking them in one place is what, how they're similar to me. What demographic is being stuck in the detention center? Oh, absolutely Hispanic. Do you think that's a fair comparison? Uh, it depends. I think for her party, it probably makes sense, right? Um, but I think that if she really wants to win over all of America, it's going to be tough with such a polarizing comment. Do you think that most Democrats would agree with her notion that they're the same? I think that they would uh, probably, it depends where you are, right? It, I think maybe half of Democrats would agree with her comment. Bearing it to a <laughs> concentration camp. That's, that's almost disrespectful to like the people who actually went through that. I don't think they're the same, but I feel like it's because they're not, you know, this is, they're not, we're not killing people. We're, I mean, we're, I hope we're not killing people but we don't, that we know of, but um, I don't know, that's a tough one. Like, I feel like it could be almost the same, but not quite. I haven't been in a concentration camp, so I don't, I don't have anything to compare it with. Well, I mean, we can hear from people who have been several people are alive today that lived through that concentration camp in Germany. Uh, they're coming out saying that it's not quite the same as what's going on at the border. Yeah. Do you take their word for it? I mean, are we killing six million people at the U.S. border and stripping their identities and... Then again, I didn't hear them say it, so I don't, you know, I'm just taking your word for it. Do you think that even if just one person is killed by illegal immigration, that that's a problem and we should do something at the border? I think anyone being killed uh, is a problem. I don't think people are being killed due to illegal immigration. I think there's about 4,000 people no, I think that, that were. Some illegal immigrants may end up killing people, but that's not the same as saying people are being killed due to illegal immigration. We have a congresswoman named Alexandria Ocasio Cortez who recently yeah. compared the detention centers at the U.S. Mexico border to concentration camps used during World War II. What are your thoughts on that? Do you agree? Uh, not very <laughs> All right, super male vitality is what he needs to be able to talk about these things. What a pansy. Do you think that a detention center for illegals coming across the border would be the same as a concentration camp used in Germany for the Holocaust? I would hope it wouldn't be. 
Do you think that's what's happening? I have no idea because I haven't researched it. I mean, I know that at the detention centers, there's like a lot of people crowded into very small spaces and I like very much disagree with that. I can see how you would like compare that to other spaces where people have been held against their will. So. And it's people of similar, so it's Mexican people coming across the border and whereas it was like Jewish people in a lot of the concentration camps. So that part, yeah, maybe a little similar. Are the pictures from the border showing any like chambers? I wouldn't say anything to that extent. I haven't but seen anything you know, like that. But again, you don't, you don't know. I mean, you so don't it's know. possible that chambers I, could be down there. I don't know. I, would I don't say know. No. I have never. I haven't heard anything about that, but I wouldn't know. Do you think they're getting fucked up? <laughs> That's a silly question. Well, that's what happened in concentration camps. Well, those are the death camps. I mean, if you look at history, before the death camps, there were concentration camps. Yeah, and what happened in the concentration camps? They got sent to the death camps. Well, people are dying in the camps that we have here. I don't really like to get involved in politics mm -hmm. because I don't uh, keep up with what's going on. Okay. It's too depressing for me. Yeah, it is depressing when we have a congresswoman comparing detention centers used to vet people coming into our country like sex traffickers, uh, comparing that to concentration camps. I think that's, that is a little sad and depressing. Yes, I, 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 I believe. That's true. What similarities do you see that they would be the same? The of uh, refugees, immigrants, and stuff like that. People that are uh, not, um, I guess, in the minority populations. So, I mean, we did that with the Japanese World War II as well, They're in the dictionary definition as well. So, so do you think we're taking people from Mexico and Hispanic countries and putting them at our border? Uh, no, they're not but they're coming here as refugees, which is legal. So yeah, they can, they, they, it's illegal. They can come, they can come here Absolutely. and uh, request they can asylum. Seek. They can seek Re exactly. and request exactly. it. Yeah. So, so they can seek it. Doesn't mean we have to tear, uh, tear their families apart. Do you guys really think that they're putting people in chambers and starving them and? Oh no, no, oh, no. But I just think the conditions are terrible. I mean, I don't think it's necessarily directly correlational to a concentration camp, but maybe it's just like more towards... They get free health care there, food, a bed, showers. Right. Is that, camps. is that, what camps? These camps we're sending these kids to. I don't know of any camps. Okay. Thank you. We're not sending them to any camps. It's not like we're finding terrorists at the Mexico border where you know. Actually, the U.S. Department of uh, Justice, the Homeland Security, did find several ISIS terrorists that were coming in through the border. In Mexico, no one, we, well, I shouldn't say, I didn't hear about it. I didn't hear about it. Where do you get your news? What national platform? Um, usually CNN or Headline News. You think maybe that's why you didn't hear about it? Potentially, yeah. Then well, I, I kind of getting so disgusted with the news, I pretty much quit watching. Okay, well, I mean, you could always check out Infowars.com and Alex Jones. He has a show every day All right. um, at Infowars.com slash show. You can check him out. He'll give you real news. Okay, thanks. Okay, you're welcome. She's a Democrat. Does that change your mind? Maybe make you understand why she would say something so crazy? Mm, that I wouldn't, I did not expect that coming from her. Yeah. <laughs> Being a Democrat, that's for sure. Do you think that's not a, a, a common democratic position that we should compare illegal immigration at detention centers to concentration camps? Definitely no, I don't think that, like, no. I don't think that the vast majority of people coming over the border, mm -hmm. illegally or not, are criminals. Oh, I agree with you. I mean, I mean, by definition, they are criminals if they come over illegally, right? I suppose if they come over illegally, they are by definition criminals. Where do you think these kids are going? We're, we're ripping these people from their families and putting these kids in these camps. What camps? You, were, you were just asked me about these camps. Yeah. So what, I, don't, I didn't know of any camps at the border. I know of a detention center to make sure people coming across can be vetted and make sure that they're not. Do you not care about children being sex trafficked, sir? That's scary, dangerous guy, dangerous guy. Stay away from him. Thank you guys so much for watching another one of my videos. Make sure you go to my Patreon at patreon.com slash Bennett to support my work. I'm directly being under attack right now. 
And we have to keep this operation afloat to where I can go out and expose what's happening all around the country and give you guys informative, great news that no one else is going to tell you. So go to my Patreon, patreon.com slash Bennett, and make sure I can keep doing this work that I know you guys love so much.